Let's launch Pro Tools here. There we go. We got an error saying that the software required for uh, Pro Tools 12, the iLock licensed drivers, are not running. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to turn those back on, okay? Let's go get started. The first thing to do is come down to your taskbar, simply right click it and go to task manager. Then come up here to services. Now we'll look for the PACE entry here, which is called PACE license B services. And we can look over here on the status and see that it's stopped. Obviously we need this running. Now, when your computer starts up, if you're trying to launch Pro Tools right after your computer starts up, this can happen to you, even if it's on automatic start. Okay, sometimes it just takes a while. So the first solution would be just wait a little longer. But if you wanna go ahead and get up and running and started, or if they don't start, even though you have it set to start automatically, simply choose this entry here, the base license D services, right click it and choose start and you'll be up and running. So we'll go ahead and do that. Boom, now they're started and they are running. Now I'm going to go into a little more detail here. Choose that entry there and we'll come down here and hit open services. And then we'll scroll down here to the PACE entry, which is right here, PACE license services. See that there, All right? We can see that it is running now. And now I have it set up for automatic delayed start. I find that delayed start works best on my system because for some reason when it's on automatic, every once in a while it won't start up again because there's a lot of things starting up whenever you start your computer. And, you know, you should probably leave it on automatic, but if automatic is not working for you every time, then put it on delayed start and just test that out for a while and see if that works a little better for you. So in order to change that, simply right click, and you can come to properties. And right here on the general tab, we'll see the startup type. I have it on automatic delayed start. You can set that to automatic. I wouldn't set it to manual because that would mean you'd have to come in here every single time and start it yourself and do not disable it because again you'd have to start it up yourself so either put it on automatic or automatic delayed start now by default it should be on automatic if it's not starting up for you consistently on automatic just come in here and put it on automatic delayed start hit apply okay now whenever you restart your computer or start up your computer at the beginning of the day just give it maybe an extra minute for that to start up because it's a delayed start if that's not working for you you can always come right back open your services, find your PACE entry, click on it, right click on it, properties, and change it right back to automatic, which I think I'll put it back on automatic and try that out again. But that's all we've got for this video. So just remember, if you go to Launch Pro Tools 12 and you get that iLock services not running and you're on Windows, simply come down to your taskbar, open your task manager, do services, locate your PACE license, entry look at the status if it says it's stopped you simply right click choose start then you'll be able to launch pro tools absolutely no problem